Hi there, I'm Dave Curry. I'm the brewmaster and proprietor of Kauai Island Brewing Company. When I was young, I grew up drinking the domestic beers like most people do, and uh, probably the thing that turned me on to the craft brewing industry was uh, my first bottle of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. That was right about the time that I started home brewing, and then I saw what a variety of beer you can make. Just got into all the different styles and wanted to try everything. What I've been doing lately is I've just been ordering different ingredients and playing with those ingredients. Being at a small pub like this, we can get immediate feedback. Once that beer's on tap, I can just walk out to the bar here, ask, hey, so what do you guys think of this one? What do you guys think of this one? And uh, I can change it some the next time if I want, or I can do it entirely different the next time if I want. We usually have nine or 10 beers on tap of everything on the market. My Captain Cook's IPA is probably about my favorite out there. I've had three beers so far. I tried the IPA, the uh, Captain Cook's, really good, really good stuff, good IPA. I'm having a Captain Cook's. I got the Captain Cook IPA. Just got out of a four day camping trip and this is good for the body, the soul, the mind. Cheers. I've been brewing that recipe a long time. Got it just how I want it. We're using Simcoe and Chinook hops, which have a real nice bold aroma, real nice sensation on the palate. Can't go wrong with a good, good IPA. Right now I'm working on the Lilani Light. That's about the lightest beer that we make. It's not too hoppy, light bodied. Being on Kauai here, we tried to come up with something a little bit unique and uh, one of the bartenders said his auntie has a taro farm. He said, why don't you, why don't you put some taro in the beer, see what happens. So uh, we've brewed it twice. That first one turned out really good. The second one's entirely different. That honey malt changes the whole character to it. It's a little on the darker side, but kind of light bodied, not too hoppy also. So it's, the two of those have been a real big success. I think we'll probably keep doing the taro one on a regular basis. We've got a grill here also. We do a lot of hamburgers. We do some nice salads, a Thai beef salad. Uh, one of our most popular items is our nui nachos. Uh, little pork nachos, a big pile of them. Cheese and jalapenos in the works. we got great Lilacoy ale battered fish and chips. That's our most popular item, actually. We've got friends that operate the tour boats down at the harbor here a couple hundred yards away. I bring my fish up every day. It's just caught right down in the harbor. Um, we bring it up after the catch. We're the first stop when they when they have fresh fish and get off the boat. We're the first stop for them to choose from, so pretty good chance you're gonna get some fresh local ahi, some sashimi or poke. They put it on the grill, it's ready for you in the afternoon. It's wonderful. Located in Port Allen here, right across from all the tour boat companies. It's a pub, it's a new variety of beer. It's locally made here. It's great.